Hello everyone, I am Jedaida Chilufia and welcome to week three of our research course. We have come a long way. You have done so much so far and I'm very proud of you. Keep up the hard work. It's been a lot of work and great job. We are almost there. All right. So in week one, we um, we're just like observing our plants, watering our pots, uh, observing for sprouts and we took uh, pictures of our pots just like to show and see how our plants have grown and we took photos of that and put in our photo up uh, in our photo uploads and in week two we continued taking care of our plants we watered our plants and then we started our shoot phenotype so that's where we um, dug out one plant from each pot we put it on a, on a black surface we got a ruler and a label and then we measured the shoot height so that's like the distance um, between the top um, leaves and just above where like the root um, starts so that was week two and then now week three this is a busy week we have several things to do all right so first is as usual we continue watering our plants and then we should take um, photos of all our three pots as we have done previously just to show um, the growth of our plants so that's the first thing and then secondly is we do our second shoot phenotype so just like last week we get one uh, plant from each pot and if you have only one um, plant that grew then you go back and, and phenotype the same one if you have more than one you phenotype um, a different one so do a second phenotype exactly as last week you dig it out put it on a black surface so make sure you like rinse off the soil particles um using any kind of um, tupperware that has um, water i have mine here and then um, take that picture and have three pots from all the three locations and then take those photos so if unfortunately let's say one pot like all your plants died that does happen um that's okay then we we that's what we record we say okay in this pot so that means this week you only have two phenotypes like that's completely um completely fine so that's the second thing we do and then third we're going to make observations of our roots or we're going to phenotype our roots and we're going to use our microscope so i'll talk about that in a second all right awesome so let's get started with our um tasks for this week so the the first um two tasks you already know get your plants um first uh get your your, your three pots kind of like lined up take a uh, take um a photo of all your three pots like from the side and also from the top angle and then you are done for that part second of all um second is phenotype your shoots so from last week you are now experts you know how to do that dig it out and make sure remember to wear your your gloves and um, sterilize your workspace with the um, 70 75% ethanol wipes okay and then the third thing is phenotyping our roots which I will show in a second okay so how do we do that so first things first let's talk about our digital microscope because we're going to phenotype our roots using the microscope so when you open your microscope it comes in like three main big parts so we have the top part that has the LCD screen and then it has like a back here which has like a, a battery so this battery is rechargeable as long as you uh, you connect uh, the whole microscope setup to a computer it's actually charging so they advise that the first time you get this actually charge it so just by connecting the usb to your computer so this top part um it has like a um, a turn on um, button here and then a menu um, a menu and then you scroll either up and down or side uh, or side to side using these two and then this OK is whatever you want to choose um, and then on the side you have a light like adjustment like go back and forth and that helps you to adjust how much light is coming through because here the source of light is inside here so when this first comes it's actually like covered so you have to take that out okay and then down here you have what they're calling a focus wheel so if we compare this to a traditional uh, compound light microscope or dissecting scope 
this would serve as the fine focus knob and then behind here is a section where you put um, a memory card so, and you actually we actually need this for us to um, see any photos see any videos um, of this And then next to it, um, you have a port where you put the USB. So this comes with the USB cable, which I unwound. Anything happened where like maybe like the microscope freezes, there's a reset button over here. So you have to get like a needle and then like pluck it inside. Okay. And so this also has some knobs focusing knobs and this helps um, like the whole microscope to go up and down it's the first one that you 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 work with before you you use this fine focusing knob so this helps to take it up and down okay so how does this work is that this um, no part should be at the back okay because what we're going to do is we're going to then connect the bottom part and then you're going to be looking at your microscope that way okay so that the screen is in front of you and the the knob is behind so i'm just now like adjusting this so it's firm might have to unscrew this like the first time you put it in okay so i've put my first two parts in there and then i have this bottom So now we have our microscope assembled.